<laughs> this is gonna be so delicious. Take the f***ing box so I can get oh. in the car. <laughs> I'm in the car, I'm on the way to do something really cool. I'm filming with the Stanley Cup, like N-L-H, Stanley Cup, like the real Stanley Cup. You literally are so official. I've never seen The shoes and everything. And I have my mustache. Oh my god. Like, it gets, it gets down over here. Like, we get serious, right? I'm about to become my grandfather. Mind you, I've never met my grandfather. Yeah. Love it. You in the cup? Thank you. I'll take that. What? Who, who are you? <laughs> Clearly, I'm from the Stanley Cup Corporation. Well, what about me? I'm the keeper of the cup. I mean, where's your pseudo? Exactly. The guy with my mustache. <laughs> so do I. Okay. I got my white gloves. I got the proper shoes. And I don't? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> like, give me my cup. Thank you. So what are the rules of the Stanley Cup? Hey guys, I'm the Keeper of the Cup. Uh, the cup is 132 years old, 3 feet high, 36 pounds, and you can only pick it up if you win it. Hello, I think that there are about 4,126 marbles can fit in there. Okay. 2,000. Ah! And that's a video. <laughs> Now I know I definitely scared you with my face at the moment, but it's because I've got Synthetica on and I really wanted to match my brows and I'm feeling so regretful at the moment because I look crazy. But also in the same breath, I kind of don't care. But then now I'm like a little dedicated to make it look good. So I'm, I'm just in a rock and hard place at the moment. I'm adding some red. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm trying to neutralize it with the gray, but it feels like the gray is just not doing anything. Actually, that's a lie. I think it's neutralizing it a little bit. See, that feels like there's some neutralization going on in there. Okay, we'll see when I'm done. Maybe it'll look better. Finish my makeup and I think it looks a lot better. My eyebrows still look kind of like witchy and, and you know, bright, but Cuckoo sent me this outfit a while ago, and I've been looking for an excuse to wear it, and I think tonight would be a great night. I'm super bloated though, but I also don't really care. So, so we're not off to a great start with the top, because I can't really get it past here. And then the head hole is also superbly tiny. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna have to head hole. Like, whoa, wait a second. This is actually so unserious. I just heard something pop, so that's good. What? I know my head is not that big. Uh, I just heard a like a like a crazy pop. Um, so let's see what the hell that means for the top. Oh my gosh! How am I gonna take this? I'm gonna have to like saw my body out of this. I literally need help. Hold on. My my sister was just giving me a hug. Like Ricky, come here. Let's give him a reenactment. She just tried to kill me, by the way. She helped me hug. put the top on, and the top actually looks really good. It's just super tight. She's hugging me like this, and she goes, <laughs> and I went, ah! and, and I was like, like ah! and I was like, what? I literally thought she was trying to kill me. <laughs> Why is this the best I've ever looked? I've got to do this hair. Luckily, it's a synthetica, so I kind of don't really have to do anything. I need to put on the plus. My shirt is literally up here because I'm cramping so bad. Like, it's actually not even a joke. I'm, I am like seconds away from tears. I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Faux Filler Lip Gloss because I wore this the other day and it was phenomenal. I ate, drank, all that shit. Looked the exact same when I was done. I don't know, study. Stomach hurts so bad, it hurts so bad, it hurts so bad. I saw people saying I should try putting dry shampoo in synthetic wigs. It makes them look less shiny. So I just bought some and we'll see when it gets here. My sister told me to keep my synthetic wig in a braid so it doesn't tangle because I actually glued it down. And I think she kind of ate because she looks good to me. I do want to play around with possibly a claw clip moment. I don't know, just something a little fun. Like I want to have a little fun, you know? I did cut some layers into it, but I feel like I kind of look Halloween-y. Like this is kind of giving Halloween. This is giving October. This is kind of giving October. Let's try claw clip. Okay, I do think the claw clip has more potential. I just need to do it better. That's kind of eating. It's giving prom or homecoming. I think I put a little too much mousse. Whoops. 
Like what? It's like stuck to my eyebrow. This clock clip like, ate. Sorry, but she ate. Me with my entire stomach out. And I did become very depressed. Oh, I forgot I was recording. I don't have edge control, so I'm hoping this wax stick can play as edge control because I want this little one to edge. Like I want them. And it worked, period. Okay, well, I'll see y'all at Sweetie's release party. I'm gonna wear Fenty tonight because I wanna smell like a sexy monster. No. No. Wait, that was good. That was a good bark. Thank you. Bye. I said I would hate to be on a red carpet and they go like this. Fenty! And you Hey guys, we're about to watch Sweetie's video Nani. That's how I would say it if I was a surfer from like SoCal. Nani, Nani, Nani. She walks her swinging that body. How's everybody doing? Good. Wait, hold on, John. Can you please come down here? You're so pretty. Oh, thank you, girl. She's a baddie. Um, so. Everybody, please give it up for John. I had a lockout with John for about a week or so. And in this lockout, um, we had recorded a couple songs. One day I come into the studio and he was like, I have a record for you. And I was like, okay, cool. Like you've been like three for three, play it for me. And he's like, no, I mean, if you don't like it, we can just pass, you know, I really like working with John because he really allows me to express my creativity in in the room. And you know I'm a cancer, he a cancer, so we just <laughs> shout out to my water signs. <laughs> but he played it and I was like, John, quit quit giving like your pre-speeches. Cause every time he gives me a pre-speech about a beat is fire. So I just wanna thank you, John, for delivering <laughs> that Nami beat to me and thank you for all the time and effort you put into my records. Amazing. Thank you so much. Because all little sisters do is bring pockets and want stuff and food and stuff. I want it. sisters, we're obligated to do it because that's what we do. We love them. I wanted pizza. She's getting me pizza. Out with my baby sister. Well, she just told you that. But now we're waiting for our pizza. And this place is cute. I've never been here before. I literally just typed in pizza from where we were at. And we turned up here. And it had good reviews. It's kind of cool in here. She's right here. Being cute and adorable, like a cute Wednesday Adams, but also a cute mermaid. It's the ass crack of dawn. Parentheses nine again. I have to go to the dentist, get my tooth fixed. We're gonna wash our face with this. And my mom is trying to hide from the camera while she's in it anyway. <laughs> Sick of going to the dentist, but. That's what happens when you don't take care of your teeth. So take care of your freaking teeth. I gotta wash my face. I'm gonna use the Tatcha Matcha cleanser. Cause so I like it and I like to say Tatcha Matcha. And I'm gonna use the Tatcha Matcha. I think this is the Matcha brand still. Nope, <laughs> it's just the Tatcha water cream. Let's go. My little Hello Kitty shirt. Anyway, I love these things. They really work. They truly stop water from dripping all down your arm and shit. My lace looks impeccable right now, so I don't want to mess it up. Now we gotta moisturize. This is so airy. I've never had a moisturizer that feels airy, but this one does. Just sunscreen. Then we gotta go. Can you even see that? <laughs> Super goop unseen sunscreen. <coughs> Two full fingers of sunscreen. And the non super firm. But I have a reputation to uphold at my dentist. The front desk ladies always tell me how good I smell. They can't catch me off guard. I have a business to I have a business to run. Try this ColourPop Lossy Lip Stain. This, oh, and I think I broke it. This sounds familiar. Like, maybe I tried this a while ago, but this one seems new. I can't tell. Ooh, child, it's red. I just want a little color on my lips. That's nice. I'm gonna use my Naterium Lip Balm. Phytoglum Lip Balm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's tea. That's tea, no lip tint. Okay, this is the dentist look. Ooh. 
Thanksgiving baddie from Ohio. I'm gonna put on my jacket because this is the only jacket that I have that has a hood that really keeps me warm. Oh, whoa, what the hell happened up here? Y'all, I'm about to get real ugly, look. Oh, it's not, it's not doing it yet, but you know when you get your mouth <laughs> numb, you can't make any faces because yeah. it looks ugly. You just lose all control. <laughs> it gets so ugly. Mine isn't doing it yet. Now I'm super numb, look. <laughs> just finished the dentist, and that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all, actually. He did say, which I'm very sad about, that I still have more work to be done. Ooh, that looked crazy. I didn't know that I still needed to fix my front teeth, I guess. I think I thought when I got the root canals that they were done, but he said they actually need crowns or they'll break, so. I'm going back next week. Can't even pout properly. I literally can't even feel that I'm putting this on the side of my mouth. <laughs> like what? Who just got back from the dentist? Not her. Like what? This looks insane. Mm -hmm. ah. Worst day of the week. It's cleaning day. This is literally the worst. I think that people think, because of the way I am, that I actually love to clean. Quite the opposite. Cleaning stresses me out so much because the way it works in my head is I have to touch dirty things. My finger just stuck to my leftover glue on my head. Period. The way that my brain works is, yay, I have to touch dirty stuff. <gasps> and that's that's not fun. So, it's cleaning day. But you know, a bitch still cute. I'm gonna put on my Naterium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. This is shade petal. Cause my lips is looking great. I have to get some, ooh, ooh, ooh. I have to get some luggage because I'm going to Anaheim for something super special. So I need to buy a luggage set. Because my mom stole all of mine. She does this every time she visits. She steals all my luggage and I just give it to her because I love her, so it's fine. I had to drink an energy drink. I drank my Alani New. It was my last one. But they DM me on Instagram and they were like, want more? And I was like, yes! So they're sending me more. And <laughs> that's great. But I drank my last one, so I'm a little, I'm a little energized. Like I could I could run laps right now. Maybe not quite laps because like my titties will fall out, but I feel like you get the point. So energized and I'm gonna take advantage before I fall asleep where I stand because I had to wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I want to start with the bedroom so I can work my way out, but I kind of already have Vanderpump on my computer, so I'm gonna finish this episode, then swap to the room. See you in the room. I'm watching Vanderpump Rules. Raquel just told Sheena that her and Sandoval have been having an affair for seven months. I actually don't know what to do right now. I actually don't know what to do right now. I actually don't know what to do right now. What? Seven months, Raquel! I was che- Oh my gosh! What? Ariana was so there for her- I hate this show. Let me tell you something. I hate Vanderpump Rules! Let me finish watching. What's crazy about it? I felt so empathetic for so many different people in this situation. If you don't watch Vanderpump Rules, this is really gonna bore you, so you can just skip my sister. We'll put the timestamp up when I'm done chatting bullshit. I felt bad for Katie. I felt bad for Tom Schwartz. I felt bad for Lala. I felt bad for Raquel. I felt bad for Allie. I felt bad for all of them. I, I truly understood why everyone was hurt in their own way. I do have my own opinions about who I think was generally wrong at its core, but overall I understood to some extent why everyone was hurt in some capacity. And now I'm just like, uh, what? Raquel? I never like to assume that someone is pretending to be nice, especially a woman. I just like to assume that they are nice. I just like to assume that. I don't want to assume that a woman is being pretend nice. I think that I've experienced a lot of pretend nice men, so I can't say the same for men. Like sometimes I do think, mm, you're pretend nice because you're trying to, you're trying to get something. But I don't, I don't really tend to assume that about women. So it really felt like a punch to the chest. 
that she was like pretend nice. We're about to watch them fight. For you to die. Oh! Well, that's inevitable. How was your night at Raquel's last night? That was at Schwartz's. Still haven't said sorry for what you actually did. My ass is like clenching right now. Every time I try to apologize to you, it just makes you more angry. Good, let me be angry. Okay. You should still f***ing apologize. I'm sorry, really did not want to hurt you. You didn't want to hurt Incorrect. me, then you continue to do something repeatedly over and over and, and over that's and over. It, it didn't happen for a while. But it did happen oh, again. great. I've been with you for nine years and didn't have a f***ing dime to your name driving a 1997 Honda Civic. I loved you then. You got a little bit of money, a little bar, a little band, and then this girl is like gonna act like enamored with you, like, oh my god. Cause that's what you want, huh? Who's the one to just gas you up? Yes, that girl's is. searching for identity in men. She has no identity of her own. Willing to stoop so low as to one of her best friend's life partners. And that's someone you think is like a good person you should be around? Me and Raquel became like really good friends. I don't give a about This is really sad. I really wish there was a point in the time, point in the show, where she was confronted with the thought that he had cheated on her and she refused to believe it. And I was so sad for her watching because he has a history of cheating. He's cheated before, he cheated on his partner before her, with her. And then there was a girl that flew all the way, excuse me, and flew all the way from another state to confront him because he was lying about sleeping with her. I just wish, I know that, you know, obviously that means nothing now. I also know sometimes you just want to see the best in a person. It just makes me sad. I really wish that he didn't do that. That really sucks. I feel sorry for her. It wasn't the same, Ariana. Like, as time went on, like, we became this, like, support system with each other. Don't you f***ing dare talk to me about a deep connection. I need to turn this off. That was hard to watch. In my past, I've experienced that type of manipulation, that type of gaslighting that the guy on the show, Tom, was doing to her throughout their relationship because there's there had been multiple times. Actually, there was a point in this season where they were directly asked if, if they had any interest, anything like that, and he was like, no, seriously? Just to be ultimately betrayed at the end because it was true. And that was hard to watch because manipulation like that and gaslighting like that really makes you start to question your sanity. And it really makes you question your like sense of reality. It, it'll make you rethink the way something actually played out to the point where you feel delusional. And the only way you can feel like whatever actually happened happened was by a recording or a text message and having to save things and that sort of chaotic, crazy mindset you have to live in. And oh my gosh, like I'm just watching this, imagining where I was when I was experiencing that. And it's rough. Like, I, I really do feel sorry for her. That really, that really sucks. They were together for so long too. I'm talking about like maybe someone I was talking to for a couple of weeks, couple of months treating me like that. That was years of her life. That was her 20s and her 30s. That was her, her like time, just like stolen from her with this guy that cheated on her. I believe with multiple women. I don't think it was only Raquel. That's what so far is the claim as it was Raquel, but there's there have been multiple times on this show where I think he's cheated on her. And that's just really sad. Even if I'm wrong about it, just with, Raquel. And then for Raquel to just smile in her face and be in her face after knowing you are having sex and building a connection with her boyfriend is so heartbreaking. Like, my heart was just breaking watching. Like, I had to turn it off because I was gonna start crying. <laughs> nope, no, I've cried enough on my channel. Okay, we're starting cleaning day with washing my sheets. I've already taken my bed sheets off, but I have this bed sheet this waterproof bed sheet protector. No, it's not because I peed a bit. It's because I sweat and I sweat so much in my sleep. Like I'm talking, I wake up and I'm like, guys, she needs to be hosed off. Like I'm drenched. I bought this so that it doesn't get into like my mattress because I hate sweating. I hate sweating so much and it sucks because I have hydrohydrosis. So I sweat. Constantly. I want to wash this just because I just kind of want to wash it. I don't know. I'm 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 in a mode where everything feels dirty to me right now. I hate when this happens because I start to overclean and I start to clean things unnecessarily, and it it doesn't. It's not nice. It's overwhelming. I really can't turn Vanderpump off. 
In a reunion farce, Andy sat down separately with the principals of the scandal to hear the sides of the story. Hey, Tom. I'm sat. Hey, Andy. How are you? I'm literally sat. I'm okay. For Tom Sandoval, it was one final chance to come clean. It kind of feels like you're the most hated man on television. See? And go between. Oh. And you guys did fall over. So we had that guy's night at the Mondrian. Right? Oh, shit! What the fuck? You had sex that night. Yeah. Ah! They lied about that! Yeah, just strip the bed. We're gonna- Well, I strip the bed of the- Like, the liners and the protectors. I'm gonna wash these first, and then- Actually, I feel like I can wash my light sheets with that. So I don't like wasting loads. So I'm gonna put in- the light sheets, because I I think they'll be fine. Why this machine may start yet? Hello? Hey, Mr. Whirlpool? Okay, thank you, I see some tumbling. <laughs> so, now we're gonna get a rag, because we need to start wiping down. Now I know it's not the smartest to wipe down wood with Clorox. <laughs> Clorox is the best cleaner ever. So that's what we're gonna do, Clorox. Clean all shit up. So, the bed cover is dry now, so we're gonna put this on. and I'll be back. The bed is made for the most part, kind of. I'm washing the duvet cover right now, and then I just washed these little storage bags that I put my bed sheets in. I don't have as much space in this place. That's not true. I have more space technically, but I used to have like a linen closet for things like bed sheets, which I don't have here. So I had to like find a way to store them still. So I've been using those and they kind of, they kind of clutch. I had to take a short break because I pulled my boyfriend out of retirement and I don't know where the hell his accessories went. So I have to re-accessorize them clearly. Do you hear me? Where's your chain? Seriously, like this is embarrassing in front of my friends. I don't even know where your necklace is. I'll give you a different one. Seriously, you're pissing me off. Say you're sorry to them, like you're embarrassing. This isn't even your necklace, this is my choker. I like to wear this to the movies. <laughs> this video is so bad. <laughs> Look, him looking in the back. Tell me how's it feel. <laughs> my transition. It's been hours and I'm actually so tired. I made a little not really a lot of progress on the bed but the energy drink definitely wore off and it's giving i'm gonna eat Captain crunch though I'm not too tired to eat this is the best captain crunch now now i know that y'all be liking the berries Ooh, or the original no the peanut butter is actually the only one that matters and this bowl i got on taobao it looks like a green cloud this is the only milk I with. What? You know what's weird? I'm hyper like, not really, because this is kind of just how I act, but I think I shove it deep down when I film, but I stop. <laughs> so you see now I really be acting a f***ing cringy fool. Need to refill the water. Uh, oh my gosh, I have to use the bathroom. There's too many things I need to do immediately. Um, so this is going on on my leg right now. I was literally just scratching it because my leg right here was just itching so bad. And it's been itching for like the last couple of days. And when something itches me, I like can't help myself. So I'm sitting here scratching away. I've been sitting here like scratching like this for like the past hour. These nails are not sharp by any means, like any means. And I'm doing stuff around my house and I'm like, why does my leg feel hot? My leg is like hot AF just the part that I was scratching. And it burns now. And I can't stop scratching like it. It's like irritating me so bad. And it's like right above my knee on like both knees. But this one is way worse. I'm gonna put some aquaphor, I'm hoping that helps. Cause this looks really bad. I don't know if it's even showing up on camera just how bad it is. 
but it looks like Wolverine just took like to my leg. Oh my gosh, it feels like welted. It feels bumpy, like it feels like there's like a bunch of like balls in my leg. Like, okay, that's dramatic. It's not that, it's not like that lumpy, but you can definitely feel some texture. Like there's texture, that's so weird. But it's like, what, like what is that besides like me just f***ing with my leg? Ow. I'm just trying to rub Aquaphor on it at this point and just hope that the, the like heated feeling goes down. If I feel the need to scratch it, I'm just gonna do this with Aquaphor and hope that helps. Okay, I have Nia on the phone down there, but I'm about to take my hair out this braid and um, I'm a little afraid of what it's gonna look like. I ain't brushed it in like two days. Oh wow, look at the pinched lashes. I like my makeup. It's giving cute. I'm gonna go just like this. Just like that. <gasps> I need to set my face. This smells, this smells so crazy. The one size, it, it, I'm unfazed. <gasps> I need to make sure she's locked in. I feel like my face is set for the most part, but um, I'm afraid. So I'm gonna close my eyes and unbraid my hair while I do this. And I feel like I'll find success. I think since these wigs are already kind of styled, I wanna play around with different hairstyles. But I feel like when I do any hairstyle that's not a ponytail, I look 12. Like if I do any sort of clip in my hair, I just look really young and I don't like that. I wanna look my age. So I get a little afraid of different hairstyles, but I'm gonna look on Pinterest and see if there's something fun we can do today. Cause I don't know if I wanna just wear it down. It's kind of boring. But then I also don't wanna look 10. And then I feel like already like the, <gasps> I forgot highlighter. How dare I? How fucking dare I? I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty, how many carrots? Oh, I should put this in the TikTok. Y'all are gonna be mad at me. I have to put it in the TikTok. Nobody yo, seriously, I don't have time. I wanna put on How Many Carrots by Fenty Beauty. Like, are you shitting me? That looks, looks like a little diamond. Just, oh my gosh. Yo, why are Fenty highlighters so good? Oh my gosh. And my face is matte down right now. Like what? Don't, don't piss me off. <clears throat> no, I'm not done with my hair. <clears throat> not done with my hair yet. That's what I was trying to say. I'm almost done unbraiding. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture. One, two, three, and then other side. One, two, three. Okay, okay. I'm excited to see it. Cause I love it. It is like glitter. Her most of her highlights are, and that's why I like them. I like like a glittery looking highlight. If I put on highlight, I want it to look as cool as can be. These wigs are so pretty, y'all. I can't believe my sister really got me wearing up out of these synthetic wigs. Like I did not think that synthetic hair like this could I could make it look good on myself because the only thing I felt like I could make look good on myself was my synthetic wig the curls but wow like I just brushed this out and that's like that's it now people on TikTok did say I could use a hot comb I just have to have the heat low but I don't know how much I trust that like I trust TikTok comments I just don't trust synthetic wigs <laughs> so I'm like a little afraid but then I want this flatter like I think if this I'm gonna try it guys I'm scared guys I'm scared comb work technically like it didn't turn my hair into melted glue, but it's still not going flat. So I think I'm gonna try, oh, I need a, like a, you know what the hell I need. Oh my gosh, a ponytail. <gasps> I have blonde ones, yay. Where's my big ass claw clip? Seriously. I put this in a claw clip for some TikToks, but I never went outside in it, but I did in the other wig. So I feel like it should be possible. And this one is longer than the other one. So it should actually look like a really cute claw clip style. <gasps> It looks like prom hair. That's so cute. Wait, I love it. I'm gonna cut this shorter. My tummy hurts, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna cut this. I don't want nobody yelling at me because I already have the scissors. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. See, that looks a little crazy, but not like completely insane. <gasps> I like it. I want it short enough to be a legitimate bit. <gasps> and then I pin it here. Wait a second, y'all. See, I knew y'all were doubting. And I knew you were doubting. I knew y'all were doubting, but I know my shit. One thing about me, I'm gonna cut some up. Yeah. And I'm gonna pin these bangs back. Ooh. Um, can I get the end of the bang, please? Just like a small request. Okay, period. And then I want this one to like curl on. <gasps> And what do y'all know about that? I do still wanna wear my ribbon, but I don't know how I'm gonna get it on around the claw clip. Maybe I hide the claw clip with my hair and I can like, the thing is this ribbon's long. So I feel like if I do it smart enough, 
it can be like a cute backdoor accessory. Like you don't notice it from the front, but when I turn around, it's like, <gasps> she has a ribbon in her hair. Okay, I need to like record to see what it looks like. I feel like you definitely can't see it. I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm gonna try to pin this just to hold it so that maybe by the time I leave, this curl will be more inclined to stay in this spot. And then I think I'm gonna put like edge control on like the end of it or something. I want this to be like a big curl. Like I like this. This is, this is my type of shit. Not your type of shit, my type of shit. Guys, what's a giving? Oh, this isn't gonna hold this. I'm just gonna have to keep my banging in check today. Okay, I'll keep it to the side for now. I love my hair. This looks so cute. I feel so pretty. I just gotta fix the back because y'all know the back be giving wig. And then I'm just gonna bobby pin some of the wig like down onto my head. That's how I tend to avoid that. I'll literally take a bobby pin and wherever you feel like your real hair is exposed, just pin it in. And if somebody see my bobby pins, girl, what the fuck are you looking at hard for? Like, go do something productive. And that's that on that. I definitely look like I'm about to escort the queen to her chambers, but you know, I'll do it cutely. The notification. I mean, I like it. I kind of want to wear it. Nia said to try putting some, some knee-high socks, so let's try that. And yeah, I was talking to TikTok. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Love you. Oh yeah, these are long. Okay, let's try that. This is cute though. Oh, and my camera's dying. I got the little baby red velvet. <laughs> It's bubblegum flavored and it's delicious. I did the sweet violet. Is it good? It's he told me it was good. coral and it scared me. A little bit. I was like, a coral? Guys, I'm a good vlogger today. Look. Look at the glitter and stuff. See, I put the glitter on mine. I got a second one because it was really good. That's so pretty. He told me at that event, I put the ribbon in my head. I got a bunch of new crap. So we're gonna try it. I have Pop Beauty Puckers Up patches. Ooh, I think it's those big lip things people wear. I always thought they look cool. Got some eye masks. Ah! Excuse me. We have the Fenty Beauty's new, hy new hydrating foundation. We have some hourglass concealer. We got some creme shop. I think this is blush. Blush bombs. Got our new makeup brush. I got an Armani Beauty concealer. Makeup Forever contour kit. We got a lot of different things on this desk right now. And we're gonna try them all. I'm gonna try this lip mask thing and the eye masks. I'm like scared of this lip mask. We'll be looking crazy in these. I can't get it open. Now I gotta fight for my life to put on a lip mask. Dang, this is like crazy. Okay, now I don't think it's supposed to look like this. It's like hella wet. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so wet. Look, but this is good. Oh, I can't talk. Mm hmm. 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 Damn, this shit's strong. Yeah. My mouth stings a little. Well, not stings, but it's, it, there's a tingle. There's a tingle going on. And okay, now I'm gonna start my foundation. I'm gonna use the new Fenty Beauty foundation that just launched. I said a while ago in a video that I had, I was on like the last leg of my old hydrating Fenty foundation. This one, and I guess they discontinued it because they were relaunching it. Instead of the traditional ovular bottle, they went for this shape, which I kind of, kind of like it a little bit. Texagonal, and they sent me shade 310 because I've always rotated around 280 to 310, and I'm excited to try it. Hopefully this um matches me because this is the darkest shade they sent me. Okay, wait, wait, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. <gasps> oh, and that is gonna need. Now hold on, that might match. That feels like it can match. Let's let's be optimistic, guys. Wait, that looks like a match to me. <gasps> Omg. Yes. That looks like a good match. Wait, that went on flawless. I like it. I don't know if it's better or worse than the last formula. I, I wanna assume it's better because it's a relaunch, but just look how seamless that went on. And I didn't have to become a chemist and make my own shade. This looks so good. 
It's giving gorgeous queen princess, boots mama slay ceiling fan. Ceiling fan, hello kitty, green bed sheet. Boots, boba tea. Beauty and Hourglass sent these concealers over and I'm gonna try one on each eye and hope that that don't look crazy. I'm gonna do Armani on this eye. Hopefully they, sh they match, never used them. And let's try Hourglass on the other. Now the Hourglass does look lighter, a bit nervous about that. Oh, um, now there's a difference there. <laughs> there's a little bit of a difference there, but we're gonna figure it out. So the Armani is a couple steps below in shade than the Hourglass, but that's okay. I actually don't know what I'm gonna do to fix that. <laughs> they only shut me one shade. Hmm, I don't wanna mix them. I wanna let each one work on their own. I feel like I'd, I could possibly darken the Hourglass side with when I bronze. Wait, they, they don't look that different once I blend them out. I think once I set and all that stuff, it's not gonna matter. I feel like they're gonna look like one thing. Yeah, this is good. I feel like this is good. For bronzer and contour, I wanna try this Makeup Forever palette. I think I've used it, but I don't think I gave it a fair chance when I used it because I wanna say I mixed it with my regular everyday products. So I wanna give it its own chance to shine today. So we're gonna try it out again. Oh, this looks a little light. Hopefully it doesn't blend into nothing. This shade looked pretty deep. That's interesting that it looks that bright on me. Let me see, I'll add. And then the one that looks even deeper is like the same. Okay, we'll see, dude. I need to wash my brushes too. Um, everyone that's getting to see Megan the Stallion, I hate you. We have beef, and I'm not your friend right now because I missed the sale for the tickets and the tickets for AT. So I'm double pissed. I just hate like rushing for tickets. Like I, I'm not good at it. I never get there fast enough. And every time I get there. There's nothing but gajillion dollar tickets left. And okay, like, are you crazy? I also don't have as much fun at concerts unless I have a good seat. Like I know that wherever you sit doesn't really matter, but yes, it does. Concerts are not that enjoyable when you're sitting in the corner in the top. Like I've done that. It's not fun. So I don't want to sit in the other seat. It's not worth it. Like I, whenever I've done it, I've been like, wow, I wish I stayed home. <laughs> no new products for my nose contour just because I don't have like a new white concealer to try. And that is kind of just like a staple in my routine. So. That is just gonna be like my standard stuff. I'm trying this gray in the palette and it's super duper light. Like that looks like nothing. <laughs> I don't know if I picked this out because they had an event and I don't think I've ever received gifting via mail from Makeup Forever. So I feel like if I have stuff from them, it's probably from an event. So maybe that was my fault. Maybe I grabbed a palette that was too light. With the Crime Shop blushes, this is Cheeky Pinky. I think I wanna try a cheeky pinky. This looks cute. I just love the tone of pink it is. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go straight in with my brush versus my finger. That is gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, that is so pretty and beautiful and gorgeous. It's like, I'm so shy. I'm. So, she's just shy. The Makeup Forever palette was just too light. I'm gonna use the one I use normally now, which is new, but it's my KVD Beauty. I can't talk and form a full sentence and do something sometimes. Okay. My KBD Beauty Cream Duo. And I use Medium 300 because it's just such a good shade. And they're so creamy, so they blend out so easily. They're so easy to manipulate. I love them, I just love them. It's so easy to move the product around and put it where you want it and go back in. It's just, like, it's just so perfect. Glass sent us some compacts. This one looks way too bright. So I think that'll be for like a bright under eye, which I don't really do. So I think maybe we'll try this one. This is shade Translucent Tan. So we're gonna try that. But I also have this from the Creme Shop. It's from their Hello Kitty collection. But I think they're like pads to blot. So maybe we'll try these out today too, throughout the day. We need to do a little reblend before we actually start with the compact. So far, I really like everything except for the Makeup Forever palette. That really felt like it didn't really do much. I'm gonna use the little powder puff they gave me in the... Wow, this is actually a really good shade match, I think. I don't love this little thing at all, like at all. This doesn't feel as though I can get into the areas that I like, so no, no, no. I'm gonna use what I'm used to, which is the Huda, the little heart-shaped Huda sponges. And just go in and pat and flatten. Pat, pat and flatten, pat and flatten. Look at the difference already. This is kind of tea. This is kind of tea. It feels like my blush is hell. Feels like my blush is hella dissipating. Um, so whatever that means. And then for the setting powder, we have Huda and Hourglass, but I feel like for the sake of continuity, maybe let's do one on each because that's what we do with concealer. So let's do that. I'm putting peach pie 
on this eye. She ain't got no style. Don't ever think that. I love how Huda's setting powders smell. They smell so good. I think that that's what she did with the Easy Bake, right? I thought the Easy Bake was supposed to be like the actual smell from her fragrances, from her products. I think, I don't know. I might've made that up. So I guess I actually have tried the Hourglass because this looks used, but I don't really remember what I thought of it. So <laughs> redo. The Hourglass is way finer. Than the Huda. The Huda is a bit thicker and it feels a bit heavier. The Hourglass feels a bit more weightless. We're gonna try the NYX brow pencil. This is the micro brow pencil in taupe. I mean, I think it's doing a little something. I need to try like those brow gels because I don't think I have any anymore. And I will say I notice a difference when I use those. It looks way better. For this being the shade taupe, this is showing up pretty well. These blonde grayish shades usually don't show up on me at all. And I have to manipulate gray and yellow eyeshadow to make a blonde brow. This is good. Part two of why I think the SEC is The hell? Okay, that's not bad. They look cute. Next is lip liner slash eyeliner because I usually use a lip liner for my eyes. We're gonna try out three different shades or we're gonna see which one we wanna use. These are the artist color pencils from Makeup Forever and I have Anywhere Caffeine 600. Then I'm gonna put them on in that order. Then I have Universal Earth in 708. Then we got Limitless Brown in 608. These are the three shades in the order I read them. I think I'm leaning towards that top one, but I might try them all somehow. Wipe off the excess setting powder. I love this brush. This is the MAC 15 OS brush. It's just the best big ass fluffy brush. Just big as hell, I love it. Oh shit, I thought I was using 600. This is Universal Earth. Wait a second. Well, I guess I really liked Universal Earth. I thought this was the 600 shade. This looks nice. I love the red. Hue. I feel like the Matte Costa Riche is usually a purple hue, so it's a little bit different than my everyday, and I like it. Look at that. I'm just going over the red with Limitless Brown. This Limitless Brown has a bit more, okay, focus. Limitless Brown is darker. Trying the NARS, and and now now I know how to, you know how their names are. Orgasm Foreplay Blush Quad. They be a little crazy with them shade names. What happened to pink and beige and brown? Really a first impression because this is what I've been using lately, but just for the whites in my eyes, the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. It's just too good. She don't budge. She don't play. I do like mascara wands like this. I feel like they tend to be very good at separation, but I'm not getting much product on the actual wand. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like much is coming off the wand be honest. Or you know what? I don't know how true that is. It feels like maybe I just had to stack it. Maybe you just have to really build it. But I also thought that doing this a lot to your mascara too dried it out faster, so I don't know. Like I thought though, the separation is very good. It's just very light, very airy for a mascara. Mm, it's kind of cute though. For the lips, we're going to use exactly what we used on the eyes because that's how we work. So creamy. I love a creamy ass pencil product. I hate when I have to like stab my lip. I'm not trying to be doing my makeup like that's not tea. Keep freaking wipe my lips off. Overline queen. Ooh, this might become my go-to lip pencil. I kind of love it. I need to stop overlining my bottom lips. Stop. I need to stop overlining my bottom lips so much because it's already big. And I just make it look disproportionate when I, like I should be matching it with the top, not making the bottom bigger and the top. I'll have all the products linked in my shop my, all the makeup products and even my outfit. <laughs> you know what, I'll give you my earrings too. Use that little, that was the back. And I'm gonna use that brown just to really tighten the top. My eyes, and wow, I like this. Guys, this is nice. They're going in the main drawer, not back in the PR drawer. For lips, I actually wanna do like a glossy moment. So I have this Pixie Beauty Lip Glow, and I like it because it reminds me of the MAC Squirt Glosses, which I was obsessed with, to the point where I have nothing but a shriveled little sliver left, which I'm savoring, because the pink one is my favorite one. Ooh. Mmm. I don't love the smell. It smells kind of strange. I can't put my finger on what it smells like. It feels nice and it looks gorgeous. Mmm. Ooh, I like it. It's kind of like mauvey. I do want a lighter center though. Um, can my boob stay in my top? Just a request. Oh, I should have tried the Creme Shop Liquid Lip. Actually, I'm gonna try that instead. And they gave me a gloss. Wait, we're gonna redo the lip. It's really cute, but I wanna try these. I actually forgot that the Creme Shop sent over a liquid lip and a gloss, so I kinda wanna try that. And then I think I'm gonna top them with Pixie. Not a first impression because I do use this, but these are, okay. That's the 
light off the color. Wait, we should do highlighter first. For highlight, I actually wanna use what I'm gonna use in my inner corner, which is this Creme Shop. Hello, don't embarrass me, everyone's looking. I think I wanna use this champagne shade. We should try the champagne shade for highlight, inner corner, all that stuff, before we do the lips. The shade is called Destiny. I do wish there was a mirror, that's okay. Ooh, I love that champagne pop. That champagne pop is gorgeous. Get it on the brow bone. Oh, I love a brow bone highlight. Brow bone highlights are the backbone of beauty, I fear. Don't ever sleep on like the nose, the sides of your nose. When you turn to the side, it looks so cute. It's so glittery. The dewy look has been like calling out loud and clear lately. I mean, it's about to be summertime. Like why not be like glowy and fun? I'm just a girl. I really wanted to try this Hello Kitty palette, but I was so disappointed to open this and it was all like neutrals and grays. <laughs> I wanted pink, red, purple, all that fun stuff. For the lips, we've got the Creme Shop Sanrio. I think the shade is Cookie Crush. We've got Cookie Crush by the Creme Shop. It's a liquid lip. It smells good. It doesn't smell like a cookie, but it smells deli- It smells like whatever the sweetest candy you can think of smells like, but it's not overbearing. Ooh, I love how that smells. Oh my gosh, I'm acting crazy. It's giving me like a sugar rush. And I love how it looks. Stop it. That's going in the permanent bin. She's staying. Then I'm gonna use Anywhere Caffeine. Bring the corners in to give more of an ombre. I love an ombre lip. We can top it with the Creme Shop Lovely Apple, which is looking like it's gonna be a very beautiful shimmery pink gloss. Can you see that? Look how pretty that is just in the tube. I'm dropping so much stuff. Whoa, I didn't think it was gonna be that shimmery. I thought it was gonna be like loose glitter. No, I didn't think it was gonna be like loose glitter. I thought it was gonna be kind of like just a sheen, but that's a gloss. I'm gonna put the Pixie Glow on just so y'all can really see because I love this thing. Like, this was a great first impressions. Like, so much things, so, so many things worked out. Setting spray, I never deviate from my everyday products, but I do want to try the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. It's supposed to be 24 hours. I'm afraid, like, if my makeup don't last, I'm gonna be pissed. This is a B. Said it was a hydrating setting mist, so she better lock me in. The bead is beating right here. I'm sorry, I have to top it with Krylon. I just know she's gonna hold me in. And this is a beat. Like, I'm sorry, I can't risk it. I can't risk it. If it's gonna break, it's gonna break anyway because the makeup rubber was first, but just as a precaution. This beat eats. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not. I can't smash the wig on the desk because there's no box. Um, excuse you. But we're gonna give redhead today. I'm very afraid. To like a horrid start. Like as horrid of a start as humanly possible. Also the same way I randomly adopted a family, you can do the same thing. And if you can't donate to the family you adopt, you can just keep sharing their GoFundMe. Just a suggestion. I'm gonna use real glue on this because I know I'm not gonna keep this on. So we're just gonna use adhesive spray. Um, I'm really scared. Feeling very negatively about this. Very negatively. Nancy and got shit on me. I've never been so negative. I have no hopes for her, like zero. Also, don't forget you can always find families to donate to in my help card. Always linked in my bio, the top link in my link tree on every platform. That has a direct link to Operation Olive Branch that you can literally always find their page from. If you feel like you can never find it for whatever reason, you can find it in my help tree, my help link in my link tree. And also on top of that, there's also, in that same link tree, in that same how to help card, there are links for Congo, Sudan, Yemen, Tigray, everyone you can think of that I could think of. Stop texting me, I'm doing something. I'm gonna cut the lace off. I'm just not feeling great. I'm just not, and I don't wanna hear you always say that, it blah, 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 blah. I don't give a f That almost sounded like that Divergent scream when she said, ah! That was so funny. Also, why did Divergent do that? Why, why have such a great movie franchise and then make it about aliens? What? Like, Boo! Pissed me off bad. And I was binging Divergent. I had never seen it, never read the books, nothing. So they reeled me in and it was like genuine first time excitement just to do that. Aliens? What is this, darling in the Franks? Like, don't piss me off. Okay, it's not looking like the horrible hellscape I thought it would look like. I think I've just never had red hair, so this is super ultra weird. I've only had like burgundy and it looked nothing like this. So it feels like it doesn't really count. This is like real red and it's still not even real red because I have like the blonde stripe, but it's just strange. It's just strange and weird. Um, It's certainly something for sure. It's definitely a hairstyle. It looks too superhero-y to me. Maybe it's too long. Maybe, maybe let's claw clip it. A claw clip saves everything. <gasps> maybe it needs layers. Let me get my scissor. You really just need like a good 
that. I still don't like it though, but it looks better because it's really long. I feel like super long wigs look really good in claw clips. So let's see. It looks better. Wait, maybe I just needed glasses. Ooh, ooh. Maybe I just needed not these though. Go to the grocery store and I need to go like today, but I don't wanna, but I kinda need to. I need ice cream sandwiches. That's the most detrimental most of this for me. I mean, I have dinner for tonight, so I'm like, I don't need to go today. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. Let's go tomorrow. We're gonna get groceries tomorrow. Don't love this outfit. It's like a full body lace romper. Just feels boring to me, but I also didn't accessorize it at all, so. Maybe with accessories and like a coat and stuff, it's cute. I have plantain that I should have been fried. So I'm gonna make that for lunch maybe, even though it's kind of already lunchtime, I'm gonna make it for later lunch. At the Kaoli event, they gave us, well, they had on the tables, which I stole. Rock candy. This just looks so pretty. How do I open this? It literally looks like something you find in like a beautiful forest. It's so pretty. Very hard. Tastes good though. Mmm. I didn't love it at first, but I like it. If my dentist saw me right now, I feel like he'd run me over with a car. What is this, but it's getting lollipop. I don't want that right now. I want a sandwich, but um, I don't have sandwich stuff. <laughs> I put my hair in this like weird style because it was bothering me. I like to wait till my Captain Crunch gets a little soggy. That's when it's the best. You know what I used to do in middle school when I had relaxed hair? I used to walk like this. Looking a mess, mind you. This is hella good. I said I wasn't gonna eat all today. I lied. Making one of my favorite little snackies. I made it for my family a lot when they were here because they loved it. But it's literally just sourdough bread, butter, and jam. It's real easy. Regular, regular ass butter. I just lather them up while they're hot so the butter spreads easily. Now, I don't love this jam that I'm using right now, but I grabbed it on accident, not paying attention. I like the Smucker's one, but this one will do. Honestly, any old apricot jam will do. They all taste really similar. And then that's it, my little, my little breadies. They're so Look, that's gonna be so delicious. Mm-hmm some tin that I need to fry, but um, I did take a little long to decide to make them. And now I'm gonna make plantain. Start the montage. How good they look. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy here gonna be really good, I'm so excited. So I did burn the entire first batch, so let's try that again. They've been coming out really good ever since the first batch burned. You know, I feel like that's like my, my, can't think of the word I'm trying to think of, but it happens every time. Routine. Wow, brain is like legit off. I'm actually so starving. Okay, here's the, the good ones. Yay! I told you, I just have to burn them first. I hate oil, I hate it! It's so good. I love plantain. You don't even know. I love it more than anyone loves anything. Mm. I'm gonna make a smoothie while I eat dinner. I got some broccoli I made yesterday. I had like leftover chicken. So I just made the chicken. I got some yellow rice. And watch. Period. Yummy. I'm watching Summer House. Carl is crazy! That's my up. Now do the veggie dance. Now do the veggie dance. Yum, yum. Eat them up. Eat them up. Now do the veggie dance. Do the veggie dance. It's so funny and I love it. This is gonna be so yummy. I put frozen strawberry float. I hate when it farts. Frozen strawberry, frozen mango, frozen blueberries, vanilla yogurt, orange juice, and I did forget to add honey, but that's that's fine. I switched to silicone straws after both of my glass straws broke in a drink while being drunk. 
One of them, my sister was drinking and it broke while she was drinking it. The other time I was drinking and it broke while I was drinking it. So those had to go and now I got these silicone straws and they're just as big as the glass straws I had. And they also have um, little skinny ones, hold on. I got like a pack and then I got like these smaller ones. You see the size difference? And then I got a silicone straw cleaner. So that's tea. Cause those glass straws are just, they're just a nightmare waiting to happen. I saw a TikTok about a mom saying that she was gonna stop using glass straws because her son was drinking her drink one morning and it broke. Then my, my straws that I've had for years broke like a week later after I saw that video.